Hi, Creole friends, Naturally Rhonda here. For all my old time subscribers, I love you, love you so much. Thank you for coming back to watch my videos. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, check out some of my other content. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that button down below and subscribe. Happy Black History Month! Woo! Those that really know me know that I am unapologetically pro-black so this month i wanted to only feature black owned brands okay so for today's video i'm doing a twist out um i'm not 100 percent on the size of the twist how i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna wing it and see where it goes but i am featuring natural queen so the twist out is going to be with their curl defining leave-in conditioner and this is in the island smoothie scent. And then I'm gonna top that off with some of the rich and creamy hair butter. My hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and detangled. I used Natural Queen products for the entire wash day. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details about the shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner. I love them all, but I wanna do a separate video highlighting those three, so be on the lookout for that when i first started filming i was cold now i'm getting a little warm so take that off okay first things first my handy dandy spray bottle of water i got a new spray bottle i love this one even though my old one said um keep calm and style on and that was really cute i got that from sally's but i just love the look of this one um to me it looks like very professional not that i'm a professional hairstylist at all but I got this from Amazon I'll leave a link to this spray bottle in the description box I always like to apply my products on wet hair I'd say since I just got out the shower my hair is kind of damp but I want it to be wet I think this is a decent size for my first section This is what the leave-in looks like. Oh, it smells really good. And it's very creamy. Just gonna comb through, brush through. This is what the butter looks like. This butter, the consistency is giving me, the main choice doesn't get much butter than this vibes. Also, um, Lux Locks Curls Chocolate Froyo Twist and Butter. Oh, but this is very creamy. Hello. This is very creamy. I am a fan. I don't know if y'all can see how creamy that is. Now I'm just running my Felicia Leatherwood brush through the hair one last time to make sure everything is distributed evenly and it's as tangle free as possible. Now, I'm going to separate my hair into two sections, try to get them even. Now I'm starting as close to my scalp as possible and I'm twisting tight. And then I just twirl it around my finger to secure the ends. And this is what my first twist is looking like. Here's my next section. Again, I'm wetting it down, going in with some of the leave-in. I noticed a little bit goes a long way with the leave-in, but I'm probably still gonna end up putting too much because I'm heavy-handed. Some of the butter. One last detangle. So I just had to untwist that twist because they weren't even and I really don't want to borrow. So sometimes that happens. And the reason that I really don't want to borrow is because I'm working on getting the best results that I can from a twist out. So I'm really trying not to borrow even though that's a bad habit of mine. Now I'm not 100% if this is why, but 
I have a feeling in my mind it's harder for me to get two really even sections in my hair because my hair is layered that could have absolutely nothing to do with the situation I don't know but in my mind that's why so <laughs> maybe it's just me maybe I just don't know how to pick even pieces who knows sometimes you just have to redo the twist no big deal all right so this is what my first few twists are looking like I'm just going to continue the same process with the water, the leave-in, and the hair butter. And I will be back when it's time to untwist them. As you can see, the twists are all out, and these are my finished results. sorry i forgot to film an outro but i love you for watching y'all please be safe out there and i'll see you in the next one